when we started, it was like a lot of people didn't understand what we were talking about. Because to them, there was nothing, nothing like breast cancer. It used to be like a boil in the breast, but not breast cancer. But with, here, with the years going by, breast cancer has become a household name. Everyone at least knows about somebody who has been affected by breast cancer. Men are also fighting with us because the men are also identifying themselves, their wives, their mothers, their sisters, their children. And so we are in the fight together. We are getting some people coming early to the hospital because um, they've heard that you can have breast cancer and still have your breast intact. So some women are rushing to come to the hospital for breast conserving surgery to be done for them. And we also keep having our breast cancer survivors increasing with the years. The knowledge about breast cancer has increased dramatically. The difference is whether they know how to do their own breast self-examination or whether they are doing it at all. So we still have the challenge of having some women still coming late. And I'm sure that will take some time. We also still have the stereotypes, the um, psychosocial and cultural beliefs about breast cancer. And that will also change with time because it's a generational thing. A lot of the youth are going to be educated and so they will be able to read and write and check for information. By the time they grow up, they would have known a lot about the disease. They will not believe that it's caused by witchcraft. They will not believe that breast cancer is a spiritual disease. 